I really think that that makes absolutely no sense. Mm -hmm. Having your feet cut to fit I'm against that. The majority of patients I see come in, they have painful bunions, they have painful corns, and they need a surgical procedure. They've tried conservative therapy, and they want to wear nice shoes. Mm -hmm. It's not about, you know, correcting your feet to fit into Manola Blahniks. It's or, just so that you're out of pain, really, you want to right. be out of pain so that, right. okay. What about this procedure called the Perfect 10, where it shortens your toes? I've heard of this, actually. Well, uh, that you have the perfect 10. Well, and I it's I have, well, I have a size 10. <laughs> I don't know about that. But. You have the perfect 10. But I have this feet. one little thing right here where oh, the, there's oh, like the, that extra little joint, so there's like a little corn right there. No, but. no, no. That would be perfection. Your oh, feet look really? perfectly fine, okay? Oh, okay? I mean, there is absolutely nothing to be done. So no surgery for me. No today. surgery <laughs> for you. Okay. And I wouldn't suggest doing any surgery on anybody unless you had a Pain. All right. right. Well, let's talk about the the hammer toe and okay. the, the the hammer toe procedure and toe shortening. There. Okay. This is them right here. Okay. Look. Okay. I'm gonna. Sh I think I'm getting a hammer toe. Okay. You have to tell me. See. Okay. Like. Look. Right there. See yes. that thing. That's but you know what? You have a bunion. You have. I a bunion. do have a terrible you bunion. Do. Okay. Ah, that's so gross. <laughs> but I'm serious. No, no, no. And you know we've talked about that before. But I said it's not bothering you and just leave it alone. But I, I have trouble getting such shoes. Toe. Well, okay. So we have to look for wider shoes. And probably the best thing to do is to actually put a little arch in there and stretch your shoes before. But if you were to have surgery, I mean, you're looking at four to six weeks wow. for the bone to actually heal. And yes. now it's a okay. doctor told me that you can't do both feet at once. Is that correct? It's not a great idea oh, great. unless you have someone taking care. Uh, yeah. You know, you can't walk and put and any. You can't drive a car. You can't do any of that while you, after you have it. The difference is, though, is you, today you can do it on a Friday and go back to work oh. on Monday wearing a surgical okay. shoe. Oh, Let's there you talk go. about cute. fat injections. I believe that's what we have pictures of next. Yes. Uh, now. I don't do the fat injections, but I do pillows for your feet. It's a cushioning procedure, similar to the material that's injected in your face oh. to plump up your face, mm -hmm. and that works. I mean, it really works wonders. I have a 93-year-old patient that comes in and says, fill it up. Oh. So, I mean, it's, <laughs> wow. it's really a great procedure. Well, well, talk about filling your face. I cannot believe that you can actually use Botox in your feet. What does that yes. do? Yes, okay. Now, Botox in your feet, that's a little different, okay? okay? Botox is used for hyperhidrosis. That's when you feel like all of a sudden you're like, your feet are wet and you feel like you're perspiring. You're running in your sneakers and your shoes. Oh. You use Botox rather that than do surgery. Some. It does. Okay, okay. talk yeah. about lasers and foot facials. Okay, now that, here's interesting. Lasers are new. Lasers came into being the last 10, 15 years. Mm -hmm. You can now use it for fungus. Oh. Instead of using oral antifungals that can cause a lot of liver wow. problems, you can now use a laser to get rid of fungus. And you know, those, it's unsightly to see that. You don't have